All right, what's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Armani. We're back with another video. Get in here, get in here. Gotta get into some things, okay? So, hey, maybe love has prevailed, or maybe this is some good co-parenting. But either way, um, fans are speculating that Cardi B and Offset are at least back on speaking terms and being able to, you know, cohabitat, if you will. All right, so... <clears throat> While I'm minding my business, I get a call in the morning and they're like, oh, did you see what offset, where offset is? I'm like, no, I didn't see it. I didn't, I don't really follow. I don't know. They're like, well, offset is at the studio at Cardi B's house in New York. I said, oh, how do you know? They said, well, he previewed a song with him and Gunner, which sounds great, by the way. Um, and I said, really? And they sent me the video and it did look like, you know, the, the home studio that Cardi B has in her home. Um, but I can't confirm or deny because I don't know. I've never been there. So I don't know. This is all speculation. It could be somewhere else. But for the sake of the content, it does look like it. So you guys can fact check it if you want. But it does look pretty similar to me. So to me, I'm going to go with my educated guess and think that, yeah, he's at the house. And then I went and I saw Cardi B. Um, she is back at home and she's, you know, having her chef come over. They're having lobster and shrimp and this and that. I didn't really look at it all. But I did see crab. So it looks like she had the chef over, her husband, a.k.a. Baby Daddy, over, and he was working in the studio, excitedly promoting his music, probably not even thinking about the background, just engaging with his fans and, you know, getting in his bag. He was comfortable. He's probably checking out his kids and, you know, being with his wife. She was in Paris. He wants to see her. But, and there's nothing wrong with that. But my only problem is this. When we get into the conversation of publicity stunts, shows, momentum builders and drivers, Cardi B and Offset at this point, um, you guys have to see why you guys get dragged on the internet. And Cardi B, really you, you have to see why people think that everything you do is for a publicity stunt. It's as far as it pertains to your relationship or your marriage with Offset, you know? Um, because how do you go from crashing out, him telling you, telling the world that you slept with a man while you were pregnant, then you go and say, and did. You're online saying that you're growing apart from him. You're not fooling with him. He's been a cheater. You don't make him feel like the man that he is. Um, you don't make him feel powerful over there. You gave him a look and he saying that take off and Quavo or whoever been told him how you were. He should have known you guys are subtweeting each other, dissing each other back and forth. You got niggas coming online saying that, you know, that they slid in your DM. You got academics saying that you banged a football player causing all this ruckus and chaos for you to go whisk away. Paris fashion week so we all are paying attention to what you're doing and saying then you're posting pictures like you know you're you're at the birth by yourself you're not with him i mean this whole thing of you becoming like this single mother getting your fans engaged everybody's dragging offset hating him and actually championing you having your back making him look like he's the bad guy because he's had a past of infidelity right you're feeding into it people bringing up Bia and, and 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 the things that, you know, she said about you sleeping around with other people and then you confirming, basically saying that, you know, she's lying, but when you're ready to talk about how you've been free doing your thing, you'll, you'll address it. And all that is fine and dandy, but when the man is right back at your house less than a week and a half later in the studio chilling and you got the chef over and he's promoting music and he's at your house in New York, you can't possibly act like you don't understand why people say that you just do this stuff just to get people talking. Now, some people will say, well, they have a kid together. So he probably wants to see his kid. That's what that's about. They have a newborn and all three of her kids are his kids. So rightfully so they should see their, their father. And I totally agree with that. Absolutely. Absolutely. They have a right to see their father and he should definitely be in their life. And she's made it very clear that he is a good father to those children. But my thing is this. They're both too sensitive 
when it comes to the press and opinions of the media. So they should keep their relationship off of the internet. And I'm not talking about going live on Instagram and things like that. I'm saying like how, how Alset was doing promoting his music. My thing is this, you've, you've broken up. This is now the third time every year. Cardi B is doing a crash out breakup, leaving him, but he swindles his way back in. And then you guys end up, he ends up dropping off some and you guys are back together. I'm not saying that this is the case because she did just have a baby, but, the, but at the end of the day, that is always going to be the perception because of the history. So I think what, it, what you should do as two grown adults that have children that are going to have to co-parent for majority of the rest of your life, because you guys got babies, like young kids, so you guys have to be around each other. Why would you take all that information and put that on the group, on the internet? Why would you go and say, tell everybody that she body while pregnant? Why would she go and tell everybody that she doesn't make you feel like, or you're not the man for her that you could be and this, that, and the third? Why do all of that? Why try to act like you're going to be single and the relationship is over? Why go into telling everybody that your homeboys and your, your, your previous band members gave you to play on her like she was always a rat or something? All for you to be back at the house. There's a way to co-parent if you guys are really going to co-parent without being in the proximity of each other. You guys have enough money to where you, it could be very transactional. So this whole idea like, oh, he wants to be there. They got two houses in two different states. So a part of that is you want to see the baby, but you want to see her too, because you can see your kids without seeing her. Let's not forget. There was many times where Cardi B was crashing out within 2021, 2020, where she felt like Offset wasn't coming to see her, wasn't making time for her. So by him being there, he wants to see her as well so we're not going to sit up there and act like they're not having drive-bys they're not sleeping together in the same bed they're not cuddling i don't know i don't really care but at the end of the day like this is why people think that everything that they do when it comes to the relationship is a publicity stunt to build cardi b momentum and at this point i'm starting to believe it because it's like what is this why do you keep putting your business out on the internet and then what's the craziest part is then they get mad like people shouldn't be talking about it like people should stay out of their business well unfortunately and fortunately cardi b is a a-list celebrity however while she's busy you know instead of recording well here's my thing i'm just gonna keep it honest with you cardi b is an a-list celebrity She's going to get talked about all the time. But her focus is recording phone calls, private phone calls, recording Instagram live streams going off on her husband when it really should be being in that studio, recording an album to release. You get what I'm saying? So there's nothing really to talk about musically. So, but she gives us everything to talk about personally, because again, her priority is recording private phone calls, Instagram lives, and not recording music to release. So guess what we're going to talk about? The Instagram lives, the phone calls, everything but. And so if you guys don't want people talking bad about you, if you guys don't want to get upset, if you guys don't like the negative press, stop using Stop exploiting the negative aspects in your relationship to the press. You're literally doing it to the media. You're on social media exploiting your relationship. And then they'd be like mad that people are talking about it or mad when people are or, or mad when your fans are like, why are you back with him? Or mad when people be like, you're a liar. Then you get online and you feel like you got to defend it and do all of this and crash out. At this point, you're not. You're not giving it. You guys don't give enough. Well, Offset at least tries to do his music thing. He's dropped an album. Cardi B gives no content other than crash outs and, and, and pretty gowns here and there. Outside of that, she's a social media influencer. She's a media personality. And so 
This is what we're talking about. And this is why people end up dragging you. Because you and your man go off, exploit the relationship, and less than a week, he's back over there with no explanation. Which is totally understandable. He could be over there and they're not actually doing anything. They could just really literally be co-parenting. But the problem is, why put all the other stuff for people to judge and have an opinion on, especially when you have a history of pump faking the divorce. And listen, don't get mad at me. You guys can keep your threats. I don't want no DM threats. I don't want no phone calls. Keep your threats. You know, they get mad. Then they want to send you threats in the DM and shit like that. Keep your threats, please. Because at the end of the day, it is what it is. If you guys don't like what's being said, if you guys don't like the negativity, if you guys don't want people feeling like you guys are, it's all a show, it's all a lie, it's all a stunt for sympathy, for Cardi B, to, for people to look at her like she's some victim, and poor Cardi B, she's been going through so much, this made-up stunt for her to get her, and you know, at, at offset expense because, you know, he's done the dirt, so it's easy to make him look like the bad guy and he's willing to fall for it because he already knows the play here and they need you to be back on top because you're the breadwinner. You make the most money. So and if, if, if she wins, they win, the family wins, it's all over here because, I, I mean, does this look like a person that was, that's mad that his baby mama? Well, maybe that's not a good picture. It was a screen grab. But he definitely was smiling in this picture. So to me, in this video, but... If my baby mama was sleeping with somebody else while I was married and admitted that she did while she was pregnant and admitted that she did and bragged about it, I don't know if I would be over at her house eating crab legs, playing my music. I probably would go get my kids and be at my house doing it at my Atlanta house. I'm just saying. If everything was that bad, I probably wouldn't be in the DMs of bloggers threatening them just seven days prior, four days prior. So let's be very clear. So I don't know. I don't know. Do you guys think that this is the stunt or do you guys think that they're just co-parenting? And do you see why people feel like anytime something happens with her relationship, people don't take it serious, but then people also go and drag her and him but mainly her because it seems like she's the most to benefit from the relationship drama because Offset has the, 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 the dark past. You know what I mean? So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. To me, it does give a little bit of a PR stunt. To me, it does give like, let's get the people talking because then we're going to do some sort of reveal, whether it's fashion week, whether it's a pregnancy, whatever it is, um, we need the moment. You know, it was given, I'm going to re reveal that I'm, I'm, I'm my pregnancy reveal. Then it was going to give like, oh, I'm, I'm dropping my album. Then it's given I'm in fashion week. And it's like, okay, why do you always have to argue with him publicly to start rolling out? Just for him to come back. People are not dumb. And if that's not the case, why do you guys want to look crazy? Keep your business to yourself. You don't like when people talk about you. You don't like when people talk about your business. So why do you put it online for everybody to talk about? And then be looking in the back of pictures and stuff like this. So now this man can't even comfortably do a drive-by on you because you got people sending the background of the damn ceiling to, to bloggers. But this wouldn't matter if you wouldn't have both went online and exposed each other for being terrible spouses. So... Be mad at yourselves. Keep some of your business private, especially your relationship stuff, because at the end of the day, you guys do have a full family. And word on the curb is, I don't know, I didn't care to look it up, but some people said that, that the um, the divorce filing never even got filed. So I don't even know if there's a real filing. I didn't even care to fact check it or research it. So I don't know. But you guys can do it and let me know in the comments below. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think that this is a publicity stunt? Do you think it's just uh, co-parenting? And what advice would you have for Offset and Cardi B going forward when they know they're going to still be intermingling together, but also, you know, trying to play into this we don't like each other thing? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And until next time, keep that same energy. And we'll see you soon. Peace out.